evening on you here for Acid or Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Hoard Auction with item number 74. This is a 1963 Chrysler Imperial two-door, which is a pretty uncommon body style. Now, 63 was the final year for the standalone headlamps, which we see here, which was sort of a throwback to the great classics of the 1930s, according to Chrysler stylists. They're here. The grill is in very nice condition. Die-cast metal. Big steel front bumper, a little dingle right there, but otherwise looking very, very good. Under the pancake hood, we should find the big 413 V8. Yeah, it's got a little carthritis on the hinges there, but that's okay. So do I. Uh, that's a 413 four barrel, 340 horsepower, factory air conditioning, of course, factory drum brakes, of course, factory steering, and looking very, very good. Here's the trim tag. Shows the car to be a factory black car, PNT BB1. Yep, that's black. Very formal, very classy looking car. The uh, driver's side front fender looks to be very much rust free. And yes, the magnet sticks everywhere up here, down low in this region, which is a radical compound curve. These are often full of holes. The magnet wants to stick everywhere through here. That's a good, good, good thing. Let's go back to the rear part of this fender down low where these things classically become a hole. Nothing, that's great, looks good. Bottom of the door, very nice condition here. This might be original paint. Wants to stick all the way. The chrome rocker molding in place, looking fantastic. Let's pop the door and look inside. And again, this is the two-door hardtop. No B-pillar, roll that window down and you've got air all the way through. Power windows, power steering, and the interior is looking really, really good. Push button torque flight to the left of the steering wheel. Air conditioning ducts feeding out under the dashboard. 120 mile an hour speedometer and uh, leather. Uh, that's, I think, vinyl front seats on this one. It's kind of a base model. Yeah, that's vinyl. Back seats looking good. All of this original upholstery pattern intact and probably original to this car. The rear quarter panels look very good here. No holes, no signs of any kind of plastic filler. The, the magnet sticks everywhere we put it. The wheel lips are looking really good. Now back here, okay, a little bit of rust going on. And right in through here, a little bit of crust. But again, the magnet sticks to it, so we know that this is not somebody's efforts to uh, hide rust, but rather the first go round for the rust. I'd rather see that, again, than somebody's efforts to hide it. Uh, the rear taillights are a little bit crazed, but they're present and accounted for. What a beautiful design that is. The rear bumper is in pretty good shape. A little dent here, but otherwise looking very good. Massive dual exhaust tips coming out. Somebody added those. That's okay. Texas license plate, 1963, PB5165. Let's pop that trunk. And inside, massive. Uh, we can check the floor. Yeah, the usual surface corrosion right here, but that's solid. Uh, this, this stuff right here is the result of the trunk mat sweating the metal for, well, you know, what, 56, 70 years. Uh, the rear quarter panel on the passenger side is equally nice. A little bit of bubbling here, but again, this is first go round rust. The magnet sticks, that's not plastic filler. This is first time rust, that's a fine thing. Five years from now, that'll be a hole. In the meantime, it's still there. The wheel lips look good. All metal, magnet wants to stick everywhere. The uh, panels here look very good. No rust repair, magnet sticks. Good stuff. Looks like he might have, the owner of this car might have angered somebody, have some key marks here. That's not something that's uh, commonly seen, but hey, it's just scratches. Okay, inside, interior is looking very good. Texas dust in full effect, but again, I'd rather see dust than rust. And something behind the seat on the floor that's kind of interesting is this. That's the anchor point for the optional seat belts. Now, I got to remember that before 1965 or so, seat belts were not mandatory in American cars, but people who are safety minded would have the dealership install them. These are Chrysler seat belts. They put the eye hole in the floor and this is the anchor point and that's your lap belt. So whoever owned this car, you know, was a little ahead of the curve and they wanted to be protected in the event of an accident. So that's kind of nice. The door panel is in good shape. The carpeting, the uh, this device here, that's cool. Little, what do we have here? A little box of Kleenexes. Yay, 49 cents from the grocery department. You remember when? Put that back in there, close the door. And the door, <clears throat> again, is very, very nice. No bubbles, very much rust free. 
Same here with the, the fender, no sign of any kind of plastic filler going on. Put the magnet on there, prove the point, there it is. And up along here, this fender is every bit as nice as the one on the driver's side. The magnet sticks everywhere. And again, here's that uh, freestanding chrome headlamp. So that's the story of this item number 74, a 1963 Chrysler Imperial Tudor.